Samsung has once more released a foldable phone, a pattern we're well acquainted with. My job gives me the opportunity to try out a plethora of new phones, and I must say, the Z Fold 5, Samsung's fifth iteration of a book-style folding phone since 2019, feels like deja vu. The device bears a striking resemblance to its predecessor, the Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 3, but don't let that bother you. Despite stiff competition from other foldable devices, such as the Google Pixel Fold, Huawei Mate X3, and Vivo X Fold 2, it continues to be the top player in the foldable phone market. What gives it an edge is Samsung's superior software, which provides the best user experience thanks to app optimization, functional versatility, and compatibility with the S Pen. However, before making a purchase, you should consider if you truly require a foldable phone, as the Z Fold 5 comes with a hefty price tag. But if you're keen on staying ahead of mobile technology trends and desire a top-tier phone, this is your best bet. A link to the best deal on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 mentioned in the description below. At first glance, you might not notice many differences between the Samsung Z Fold 5 and its predecessor, the Z Fold 4. When placed side by side, the distinctions are incredibly minor. There are some slight changes, such as the repositioned LED flash on the back to reduce the camera bump, slightly higher camera lenses, fewer holes in the speaker grills, and if you look closely, you'll see the front display's left frame is a tad narrower on the older model. However, when you compare these phones from a different perspective, a major change becomes apparent. Although major here refers to a couple of millimeters. In the Galaxy Z Fold 5, the phone's two halves fold perfectly flat against each other. This improvement is made possible by a redesign of the hinge, enabling the two sections of this 2023 Samsung flagship foldable phone to sit flush unlike the other model, which left a gap at the hinge. This seemingly minor adjustment has a significant impact on the device. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 now feels like a finished product, while the Z Fold 4 gave an impression of a prototype with an imperfect folding design. The improvements make the new model slimmer when folded, more comfortable in the pocket and hand, and it no longer accumulates dust in the screen crevice as its predecessor did. Despite their similar looks, these two models feel distinctively different when compared side by side. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 folds completely flat, a feature the Google Pixel Fold lacks, making it seem perpetually half open. It boasts an IPX water resistance rating, continues to use a high-quality armor aluminum frame, and is protected by Gorilla Glass Viticus 2 on the front and back. It comes in three colors, icy blue, phantom black, and cream. The Galaxy Z Fold is also lighter and slightly smaller in all dimensions than its predecessor, the most noticeable difference being its thickness at the hinge, now 13.4 mm instead of 15.8 mm. Considering its hefty price tag of $1,800 or 1,750 pounds, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 exudes quality, which includes a solid hinge similar to its predecessor. The fingerprint scanner is conveniently located in the power button, which I found to be reliable, unlocking the phone whenever needed. Its in-frame speakers provide a wide soundstage with clear separation, making it excellent for casual gaming or watching movies without headphones. The one component not included in the design is the S Pen. Though it's supported, it's not included in the box, nor is there a slot for it. Personally, I'm not bothered by this. As a former Note user who valued the phone's size over the S Pen's capabilities, I don't see integrating the S Pen into the Z Fold design as a necessary compromise. An S Pen cover is available that holds a slim stylus, and the device is compatible with other styluses, so if you're the type who uses one, you can always carry it in your jacket pocket. The Galaxy Z Fold 5's defining feature is its internal folding display, which is quite impressive, despite its noticeable crease in the middle. Other foldable phone manufacturers like Motorola and Hawaii have succeeded in reducing this crease on their devices, yet it remains pronounced on the Samsung's model. This crease divides the 7.6-inch AMOLED panel that otherwise presents a splendid view. Being in the display business itself, Samsung seemingly reserves its finest screens for its own devices. The 2176 by 1812 resolution screen uses LTPO technology, allowing dynamic refresh rates between 1 and 120 hertz, depending on the application or activity, primarily to conserve battery. The display renders apps in bold and bright colors 
that almost seem cartoon-like in vivid mode, which is the default setting. You can switch to natural mode and adjust both to achieve your preferred display. Samsung's Eye Comfort Shield feature, intended to adjust blue light according to ambient lighting, diminishes the display quality significantly. It pales in comparison to Apple's True Tone technology, which performs much better on iPhones. Thanks to its 21.6 by 18 aspect ratio, the Z Fold 5's inner screen is excellent for viewing full screen apps or running two apps side by side. However, it's less enjoyable for watching full screen videos due to the black bar letterboxing. Regardless of whether you hold the device in portrait or landscape mode, applications like YouTube or Twitter fare better, providing ample space for the video window and comment or chat boxes. The internal screen is also compatible with Samsung's S Pen styluses. I've tested it with the new slim S Pen case accessory, a phone case that holds the newly slim and flat S Pen Fold Edition, making it easier to carry. This is a vast improvement over the bulky cases for previous Fold models that accommodated a full-sized S Pen. Writing on the screen feels natural due to its plastic layers, though it's quite different from writing on paper. I used the large screen to write quite a few notes with this review using Samsung Notes, and Samsung has collaborated with the popular iPad app GoodNotes to bring S Pen compatibility to its forthcoming Android app. If you're someone who often takes notes, you'll appreciate the convenience of writing on your phone on a generously sized screen. It's a better match for the S Pen than the S23 Ultra that comes with a built-in stylus. It's also useful if you frequently sign documents or if you enjoy sending silly drawings to your friends. The front of the phone, when closed, boasts a 6.2-inch AMOLED screen that refreshes at a slightly limited range, 48 to 120 hertz, in adaptive mode. Still, it provides a wonderful viewing experience. I particularly enjoy the elongated 23.1 by 9 aspect ratio, as my small hands can comfortably use the book-style foldable with one hand when closed. On most regular phones, they're too wide for me to type one-handed with the thumb, but it's effortless on the Z Fold 5's outer display. However, if you have larger hands, you might find typing more challenging due to frequent typos and everything appearing rather small. Stereo speakers are situated at the top and bottom of the phone's left half when you hold it unfolded. They deliver a rich, surprisingly detailed sound, making them excellent for YouTube videos and games. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 sports five cameras scattered around the device, with three main ones on the rear and a front-facing camera for each of the other screens. Essentially, there's a camera ready to use regardless of which direction the phone is facing. The internal display houses an under-display camera, which is relatively unnoticeable, barring a slight alteration in the screen pattern where it's placed. The assortment of cameras hasn't changed from the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which could be a letdown for some. Nevertheless, it provides an ample selection. The rear camera setup closely resembles that of the Galaxy S23 Plus, as opposed to the high-end Galaxy S23 Ultra. Consequently, the performance parallels, enabling the Galaxy Z Fold 5 to produce excellent photos in most conditions. Photos from the Galaxy Z Fold 5 are characteristically Samsung-like, with heightened saturation in blues and greens to enhance the scenery. This is particularly noticeable on the Samsung's vibrant display, but it's less intense when viewed on a different device. Take a picture in a sunny landscape and you'll find the sky bluer and the grass greener than in reality, a consistent trait of Samsung's cameras. The cameras perform well in various conditions, suggesting night mode in low light and still capturing long exposures when the light fades. The results are generally good Good, but Samsung can't rival the Pixel Fold when it comes to processing images for optimum results. Indoor low-light photos can contain noise in shadows. The same goes for the telephoto camera, offering 3x optical zoom, extending to 30x digital zoom, the results of which tend to be a bit soft and pixelated. It doesn't quite match the Pixel Fold's prowess in processing zoomed images, but the difference isn't stark. In general, it's unlikely anyone would find the Z Fold camera inadequate, as it yields great photos across a range of conditions and offers a broad scope of functions and capture options. One advantage of a folding phone is the possibility of using the main camera for selfies, delivering better results owing to the greater data it processes to produce the final image. This is especially handy for portrait mode, and switching to ultra-wide for selfies can be quite enjoyable. Be mindful that the ultra-wide doesn't deliver the same quality as the main camera, particularly in low light, resulting in softer images with diminished color quality. Taking a selfie with the main camera can be slightly awkward, requiring you to hold the unfolded phone at arm's length. However, enabling voice capture options allows you to utter a command such as cheese, 
or smile to capture the image without straining your finger to press the button. Preview options are available next to the viewfinder when shooting with the phone unfolded, but using the phone closed tends to be more comfortable and less precarious. Lastly, the phone's unique design allows for some unconventional angles, such as getting the camera low down while previewing the external display. This feature lets you capture unique shots without having to physically position yourself awkwardly. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is priced starting from $1,799.99 for the 12GB RAM and 256GB storage model. The 512GB version is priced at $1,919.99, while a model with a whopping 1TB of storage will set you back $2,159.99 from Samsung's official website. Pre-orders for all models are accepted globally directly from Samsung, with the phone set to go on full sale worldwide on August 11th. Given its high price, the Z Fold 5 may not be the most practical purchase unless you plan on using it for a substantial period of time and truly utilizing all of its features. Alternatively, you could get a traditional, potentially superior smartphone for hundreds of dollars less. In the US, the Google Pixel Fold stands as a comparable alternative to the Z Fold 5. The Pixel Fold is similarly priced, but offers a broader design and less refined software. However, its camera system is superior. In the UK, options extend to the Pixel Fold or the Honor Magic VS. It's worth noting that the cost of the base model Z Fold 5 could fetch you a top-tier 1TB iPhone 14 Pro Max, an arguably better all-around device. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 stands its ground as the best book-style foldable even amidst competition from tech giants like Google, Hawaii, Vivo, and Xiaomi. While these competitors have outdone Samsung in terms of hardware, Samsung takes the cake with its software. The UI is significantly more refined and functional than any rival offerings. If you can stomach the high price tag, you'll enjoy the phone that boasts excellent performance, long battery life, impressive speakers, and of course, a sizable folding display that's a pleasure to use. But if you're put off by the outer screen's slimness or the unavoidable bulkiness of the device, you might want to reconsider whether a foldable phone like this is right for you.